Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Smart Tips. My name is Gavin Brennan. I'm a product specialist here at SmartSuite. And today we're going to be going over how you can build a personalized dashboard that is completely customized to the current user who is viewing it. Now, when I say we're making a personal dashboard, what I mean is rather than having a dashboard that sums up information across tables, maybe even across solutions, and kind of is that big macro view that shows everything that's going on inside of a business, a personal dashboard can be a point that only shows you information that is directly relevant to you. So all of this information is only pulling in records that are directly assigned to me. So you can see I'm Gavin Brennan, and these are all going to be records where the assigned to field is Gavin Brennan, wherever it is. Yes, right here. So the project manager is Gavin Brennan. So it's only pulling in those specific records. And I can see all of the tasks that I've directly been assigned. I can see charts that are just completely relevant to just and only me. And I can see the projects where I'm listed as the project manager. Now, SmartSuite is able to go and track this stuff because of our assigned to field. So if you're not familiar with the assigned to field, I'm going to leave a link in the description. But essentially, it's just like any other field type, except the values that you put into the field are the current users within your workspace. In fact, whenever you create a new table from scratch, the assigned to is going to be a field that automatically just exists there. So a lot of the times you don't have to go and recreate it, but you can go and make a new one uh, the same way you'd make any other field. You just type in assigned to and you go click on it. So once you have an assigned to field that's already set up and filled in in all of the tables that you want to sum up in the personal dashboard, then we can go ahead and start creating a dashboard. So just as a reminder, a dashboard can exist within any table within a solution, even outside of that solution, and still be able to sum up the data. So even though this looks like it's a view within projects, it can still sum up task data, deliverables data, daily stand-up data, all of that all from one place. Now, when it comes to actually setting up the dashboard, I'll leave a link in the description to show the best practices, how we internally design dashboards inside of SmartSuite but you can really make these metrics whatever you want. So here I have our summary cards that essentially are summing up, okay, here are all my projects, my tasks, my deliverables, and the upcoming meetings. The only thing that I've done differently is that in the settings, I have this pulling from projects and just pulling the different project names. So this is just gonna count how many projects are in our system, except I put on a filter that says the project manager, which is our assigned to field, has to have any of the current user, which essentially just filters all the projects by whoever has an assigned to that matches whoever's logged in. So essentially, because I'm Gavin Brennan and I'm logged in as Gavin Brennan, this my project summary card is going to pull in all of the projects where I'm the project manager. So you can see um, I'm here for Website 2.0, Gamma Product Management, Smart Suite for Marketing Sales, and Willow Tech. And I can go click on this and I'll see the same stuff. So that's the big secret. All that I'm doing is putting on a filter that says, hey, is the assigned to the current user? If so, let's show it. So I have a grid view that's just doing the same thing. So this is a grid view for the tasks table that are titled my tasks. I've hid, as you can see here, we have these four check boxes. The second one shows the report toolbar where you can go and select filters, sorts, groups, et cetera. I just go and I filter this where I say the owner or the assigned to has any of the current user, and then I go and hide this. And now it just shows all of my tasks and they're all filtered by the ones where I'm the assigned to. Same thing down here with the charts. All it is is a filter that's smacked on there that says the assigned to is the current user. And it's not overly complicated. It's, it's essentially just a filter that might not be used enough, but can allow you to go and create a dashboard where each person on your team is able to consume information that is directly relevant to them. It's a really simple episode. Again, I'm just showing you guys how to use this filter, but I know that there's a lot of use cases out there for stuff like this, whether it's marketing agencies, sales teams, whatever it might be, there is a reason that you'd want to see information that's only relevant to you. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you find any use cases for this, let me know in the comments down below. And until next week, keep on enjoying SmartSuite.